What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today uh, I want to get to a few things later on into the video and by the way you may notice my uploading schedule has been kind of all over the place. Uh, that's just and it's probably going to be like that for the next few weeks at least. Just because um, I don't have a whole lot of content right now there's not a whole lot that I plan on filming for these next few weeks but once I get into May there's a lot of stuff. So there's a couple big things I want to talk about later on into the video but first uh, let me show you guys what you are here for right now. And that is for something in this tank right here. Now the last time that you guys saw this tank, this is my 46 gallon bow front tank that I recently rescaped not that long ago. We had three fish in here. We had the Jack Dempsey was right there. By the way, it's got a, a tinge to it. That's because that driftwood is still releasing some tannins in the water. But we have the Jack Dempsey, um, a flag tail, and an albino bisher. Well, unfortunately, not too long after I rescaped the tank, the albino bisher jumped out. And you can see the top half of the tank is pretty well covered except for this little portion of it right back there and that's where he would have had to have jumped out at. I'm not sure why he did it. He was a very active bicer anyway and um, he just kind of did it. So we have the Jack Dempsey and the flagtail in here and then the flagtail started to become a little skinny. Um, and if you guys don't know, they're actually really, really big time algae eaters and if they don't have a good source of algae in the tank, even if you're feeding them, uh, they tend to not do quite as well as they would if they did have a bunch of algae to eat in the tank. So what I did is I took them out of here and I moved them outside into one of the ponds so that way he could start to eat on a lot more algae and uh, I just recently moved him out there. So. We'll see how, how well he starts to do out there. But for about a week or so, it was just the Jack Dempsey near all alone. And uh, in all honesty, my Jack Dempsey is not a very aggressive fish. He's just a little territorial over his log area right here. And, you know, just kind of this portion of the tank as he always has been. But other than that, he's a pretty laid back cichlid. So I wanted to get another type of American cichlid in here. I didn't want to go too, too aggressive, you know, nothing like a Red Devil. Uh, I was thinking more something like a Texas Cichlid or a Green Terror. So, what I went with was a Firemouth Cichlid. And as you can see, that guy right back there, uh, he's looking pretty good. He looks a lot smaller on camera. And by the way, they don't get very big compared to some of the other uh, American Cichlids. These guys usually only get around 6 or 7 inches, so he's not going to get quite as big as the Jack. But... He's been in here for almost a week now, and uh, the Jack Dempsey does not mess with him at all. He looks great, and uh, the longer he stays in here, the more he'll color up. He's actually coming out a little bit. He's starting to adjust now. These guys are typically a pretty shy cichlid in all honesty, um, but I think his red and blue colors will start to come out the longer he stays in this tank. So, those two guys are the only two fish in this tank, and I'm going to keep it like that for at least a while. Um, and then eventually I may add, you know, another bicher, or some kind of catfish near. But those two guys right there, that is it for this tank for now. So check this out. So this was uh, my plaquette beta tank, planted tank and all that. Um, and the last time you guys saw this, we had a plaquette beta in here. Well, he did really, really good for the first few months while I had him in the tank. And then he started to become kind of discolored. And I don't know if you guys remember when I first got him, he had a weird white film over his eye on one of his eyes. But then that cleared up over a few days. I don't think it had anything to do with it, but just something to note. Um, and then he just started to become really discolored. And he just died. And there's nothing wrong with the water. The, you know, it was very clear just like this. It looked exactly like this. pH was good. The ammonia was good. Nothing was wrong with the tank, and sometimes you just get a fish like that that, you know, they just die. You know, you can't really explain it. It's just something's wrong with them. So, this looks kind of goofy, but right now I've got the uh, orange glowfish in here out of the hexagon tank. Just kind of testing out. He's been in here just chilling out for about a week now. There's nothing wrong with the water, so I'll be getting another one of those guys, but it was just kind of weird how that happened. But um, the tank's doing good. The plants are doing good. You can see how well the crypts are doing off this Eco Complete substrate and this LED light. Amazon sword, like I said, is looking great. And uh, pretty soon I'll be moving that Tetra out of here and uh, getting another beta for it. So here's my next little project right here. This is the 10 gallon pea puffer tank. We have three pea puffers in here. You can see one of them right there. There's another one right there. And then there's another one right there. So we have those three guys and then a little small school of some long fin leopardanios and that's it. I mean, that's literally it. It's just those seven fish just chilling out here. Nothing too crazy going on. Eco-complete, dragonstone, hair grass. That's it. So what I want to do is I want to take this 20-gallon long tank that I have. It's actually a terrarium, and I haven't used it in a while. 
and I want to turn it into this tank right here. So here's that tank, and uh, as you can tell, it has not been set up in a while. Like I said, when I first got this thing, it used to be a terrarium, and I had turtles in it at first, and then I just took it down, didn't have anything in it, and I haven't had anything in it in quite a while. So you can see all this stuff that's built up on the glass right here, and um, since this thing is a terrarium, it has a weird design to it on the rim. This lid slides out like this, and you can push it right back. So we're not actually going to use this. What I'm going to uh, have is a clip-on LED hangover light, so we're not going to be needing any kind of lid for it. But I've always wanted to do like a 20-gallon or a 30-gallon long planted tank, so I think this is going to be really, really cool. It is going to have a hard time fitting in that spot. I did measure it. It's around 30 inches. This tank is 30 inches, so we're just going to have to make it work, but I think it will fit in there just right but this should be a really really cool tank when we get done with it here's the guppy pond right here water is crystal clear we're starting to get some algae down there on the bottom part of the rocks and um this thing's getting ready for fish so pretty soon i'm going to be ordering the guppies for it still have not made my mind up on what kind so let me know down below what kind of guppies you guys would want me to get for it here's the saltwater tank uh, i don't think i showed you guys these new mushrooms that i got about a month and a half ago when i first got them there was only probably three or four mushrooms and you can see just how much they have blossomed out since they have been in here they're looking really really nice look at the duncan over there or duncans i should say because there's actually several heads on them now really quickly one thing i forgot to mention earlier while i was filming was that there's something big that i'm planning on getting sometime within the next month or so probably sometime in early to mid may it's something i've wanted to get for a while now um, and it's something I think a lot of you guys are going to really, really enjoy, too. It's probably not what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, oh, he's going to dig a big pond, this and that. That's not it. As we start to get a little closer to it, I may start to hint towards a little more. But just know it's going to be something really big and really cool. And it's going to be something that will benefit all of the outside fish and turtles, uh, at least most of them, not the soft shell, which he did something pretty messed up here recently so i'll probably talk about that in the next video but um just wanted to mention that really quickly it's going to be something really really cool really big so uh yeah back to the video but that's pretty much it for now uh not too crazy of a video but it should be a pretty cool video next week when i actually do try to rescape that 10 gallon tank into the 20 gallon long and try to fit it into that spot i'm going to make sure first before i go cleaning and out and all that to make sure it will for sure fit in that spot and if it does then i'll clean it out and then we'll film the video but uh, like I said, I'm probably going to keep the scape of the tank pretty similar to how it is right now. I think I am going to get a piece of spider wood and just try to build in the dragon stone around the piece of wood, kind of in the center of the, uh, the tank, and then the plants, of course. And uh, it should be pretty cool. Pretty simple scape, though, but it should look good. And we'll be able to add two more types of fish that I want to add to it as well. Two really, really cool types of fish as well. So that's pretty much it for now. I hope you guys did enjoy the video though. Hey, go check out the video at the end of this one. It'll be on the end screen if you guys have not checked it out. It's a pretty cool video I did last video. It's nothing but underwater footage of my pond out back, of the koi, some bass fry, the alligator gar. Uh, it's actually a really, really cool video. It's a lot different from my usual style of videos of filming and editing. So uh, just go check it out. Even if you only watch a few minutes of it, I think it's a pretty cool video though. So. Uh, yeah, with that being said, though, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.